Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Stone and welcome to my channel Accelerate. This is the channel where you're going to kick your Excel skills into a higher gear. So remember to smash that like, smash that subscribe to bring some more Excel awesomeness. So guys, this is our 11th episode in this series and I'm very excited to bring to you today VLOOKUPS in VBA. So guys, this is an amazing technique that I'm going to teach you guys in Excel. But if you don't have the hang of the VLOOKUP yet, noobs! Check out the description above for my tutorial on the basic VLOOKUP function. If you get the hang of this tutorial, you come straight back to this uh, episode here. I'm going to teach you some wonderful stuff today. Alright guys, so first of all, the VLOOKUP is a very nice function. And to take it into VBA, we will have to go a little bit deeper uh, into the interface and get this right. But once you get the hang of this one, it's going to open up so many avenues. So let's get straight into this one. So I'm in, going into my desktop here and uh, remember guys, I've got a, a combo box episode 5 uh, epi uh, file for you guys here. So you can check in the descriptions above as well to go and fetch that file. So we're going to work off this one as well. So I'm going to go into the combo box file here and the last time uh, that we've left off on the combo box file is we were left with a little bit of data. So we're a bike shop and we're selling bikes and accessories. We've got red bikes, blue bikes, yellow bikes, tubes, tires and seats and product codes as well. So now we're going to build in a nice VLOOKUP function as well. So the last time we got to the combo boxes, so it will show you the bikes and accessories and it's a dependent combo box. So if you choose bikes, you can cho choose red bike, blue bike or yellow bike. And depending on the yellow bike, you can choose the product code and you can close the user for quite nifty. But now we're going to give it a little bit more function. So we're tracking our stock here. So in C or in D1, I'm going to say opening balance of the stock. And in E1, I'm going to say purchased. So we purchased some stock here. And then in F1, we sold some stock. And then we're going to be left in G with closing balance. Awesome. So I'm just going to highlight from D to G and I'm going to just give it a nice formatting as well. So I'm going to highlight from C2 to C13, choose the format painter and then just going to left click from D2 to G13 to give it a nice look and feel. So let's say we've got a hundred uh, red bikes one year. We purchased 10, we sold 5, and then we're going to be left with a closing balance, which is equals the opening balance plus purchased less sold will give us the closing balance, obviously. And then let's say our red book by 2 is 110. We purchased, uh, let's go for 11 or 10 as well. We sold 5, and then we're going to be left with... 110 here or oh, 115 excuse me all right and then I'm just going to highlight from D2 to G3 and just double click just to get some data that we can check for our VLOOKUP so now we're going to go into the visual basic interface and work with our VLOOKUPs now so I'm going to go into our developer tab into visual basic and I'm going to open up my user form one year. So this is where we left off last. So I'm going to just increase the size of my user form and I'm going to shift the close button down here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to insert some labels, four labels to be precise here. So I'm going to just highlight product code label here, control C and say control V to make a copy of that label. I'm going to paste, place it down here and I'm going to change the caption of the product code. Here, the caption, I'm going to say opening balance, opening balance, there we go. I'm going to copy that one again, left click, control C, hit control V to make a copy. I'm going to say purchased here. So in the caption, I'm going to change opening balance to purchased. There we go. I'm going to hit control V once again. It's going to make another opening balance, but I'm going to change it in the caption to sold. Hit enter. And one last time, control V. And I'm going to change opening balance to closing balance. Perfect. 
perfect all right and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight all four labels here so left click on opening balance hold control in left click on purchased left click on sold and left click on closing balance control c and then hit control v to make duplicates of those labels as well so that's nice shortcuts here so i'm going to change opening balance the name of the op opening balance to ob to signature opening balance and the caption i'm going to take away so i like everything in the caption hit backspace enter same with purchased i'm going to change the name to p for purchased and i'm going to, in the caption i'm going to take away the caption same with sold i'm going to change the name to s for sold or shortcut for sold i'm going to take away the caption and then the same for closing balance in label 8 i'm going to change to cb for closing balance and caption i'm going to take away backspace enter okay perfect so that's the uh, basic user form setup for us and now we're going to put in our vlookup so the vlookup is dependent on whatever changes in combo box free uh, our product code so you're going to left click on your product code and then double left click once again so it populates this code private sub combo box free underscore change so what happens if the combo box changes all right so we're going to build in a little if function we're going to say if combo box free dot value the value of the combo box is more than nothing there then what needs to happen then ob remember that's our label we mentioned for opening balance equals you say application dot worksheet function so there it is worksheet function dot vlookup so that's where the vlookup comes into play open the bracket so we're looking for the combo box free that's what we're looking up for Com whatever the value is in combo box free so i'm highlighting combo box free in the first bracket control v that's our first uh, argument comma what is the table array so the table array is sheets open parentheses all right and then the sheet name is i'm tabbing back to our sheet here is combo box menu so you can type it out or you can double click on this tab here it will highlight the text control c you can say alt tab to tab back into your code control v to put in combo box menu there open parentheses close brackets and we're going to also put in a range dot range so what is the range so because we're looking for combo box free i'm going to hit alt and tab back to our code here we're starting off from the product code so this is our first column so and our second column is the opening balance so that's what we're looking for so the second column so and the range is for c2 from c2 up until g13 but if you've got endless data you can always increase the size as well so let's do this so it's from c2 the range open parentheses c2 to g let's say a thousand to make space for more data close bracket dot value and then lastly a comma we say false because we're looking for an exact match close bracket hit enter all right so let's test if the opening balance does what it needs to do so i'm gonna close out our interface here i'm gonna hit show combo box and now if we choose i'm just gonna shift it up a little bit here let's choose red bike or bikes red bike red bike one Oh, we need a little uh, bug here so let's debug so ob is the opening balance labor label and let's see where we hit a little snag so combo box that seems fine everything seems fine okay so for ob dot caption so we still need to read the caption so let's see if that works perfectly now so let's go back to our combo box bikes red bike red bike one oh we still are running into a bug 
So let's change this. Let's say application worksheet, VLOOKUP, combo box free. That's what we're looking for. Sheets, combo box menu dot range. Dot ver oh, we haven't put in the, the, so the, the column. So it's comma two. We're looking for the second co uh, column. And then once again, just another common comma to show false. So sec number two for meaning it's the second column. So let's see if this works now. So let's uh, go out of our debugger here and let's run it one more time. So bikes, red bike, red bike one, 100. Is it 100? Indeed it is. Let's test red bike two. So it should be 110. Perfect. So that works perfectly. All right, awesome. So now we can replicate this VLOOKUP that we're doing and for purchased, sold, and closing balance as well. So this is going to be easy runnings from now on. So we go back to our VBA user interface, double click on the combo box free. And now what we can do is you literally highlight everything here. You say control C, enter control V. So now we're going to change OB which is opening balance to P for purchased. And this is going to sit in column three and not in column two. So I'm going to change that to three, highlight everything once again, control C, hit enter twice, just go back there, control V. So now instead of purchased, we're going to say change P to S for sold. That's our label named S and we're going to change the column to four because that's in our data table. That's where sold is. Highlight everything once again, one more time, control V and then this is our closing balance. So S becomes CB for closing balance and we're changing the lookup to five because that's the column where the closing balance sits. So that's four easy lines of code. We're going back to our interface. We're gonna say show combo box. And now let's see if it works like a bomb. So bikes, we're selling bikes. We want to see what's the red bikes and then red bike one, perfect, awesome. So it picks up for red bike 100 for opening balance, purchase 10 sold five so we leave left with a closing balance of 105 so let's test the end of the range accessories seats seats one perfect it shows opening balance 200 purchased 10 sold five and closing balance 205 and with seats two for a final check it does it perfectly so if a client comes in and they say do you have stock of this available you want to check on the system Bob's your uncle. There you go, guys. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Remember to hit that like, hit that subscribe. Guys, if we get enough subscribers for this one, I'm going to put this little file for you guys to download. And uh, until next time, cheers.